All right, so probably one of the first things that you're going to want to do when you get Create Space opened up for the very first time is you need to tell it or assign it what cutters that you plan on using with it. And all that is done up here in the cutter menu. So we're going to go up there. We're going to go to My Cutter and then Manage Cutters. Now, if you have more than one cutter, that's totally fine. We can add them all here. And for this example, we're going to go down to Muse and add it. And then we're also going to go down to Vinyl Express and we're going to choose the R series and we're going to add it. Perfect. Uh, once I'm done, I'm going to go ahead and click on Done. You're going to notice that the color of the mat changed. And if you notice in the top left corner, we actually see what cutting machine that CreateSpace thinks that we're going to be using. Well, let's say that we're going to be utilizing the Muse. Well, we can change that. We'll go up here to Cutter, My Cutter, and select the Muse. And you can see that it changed here as well. Now, if you happen to not need a cutter anymore being displayed and you just like to have the Muse, for example, as the default um, all the time, we can go over here to Cutter, My Cutter, Manage Cutters, and let's go ahead and remove the Vinyl Express. And there we go. Now, Create Space assumes we only have one machine, and that's the machine that it's always going to default to. So that is managing your cutters inside of CreateSpace.